What is up guys, Skyblox here and today in this video we are going to be making a sport off-roader. So what is that exactly? Well, it's a pretty... Okay, if you think of a sports car, of course you think it's low to the ground with lots of power in the front and a lot of fun to drive around. This is an SUV. I realize that. But it doesn't mean that it's not fast. Apparently according to that badge it has a V12. Um. I highly doubt that. We will find out after our customization, so I guess we could check it out. I don't know if it is actually a V12. I highly doubt it, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, so this is the car that we'll be using the Benefactor Serrano. It is in the SUV class, and um, per usual, we will do all the ran the um, not random, all the um, basic upgrades that you'll usually do if when you get a car. Armor at 100%, brakes at 100 bumpers now for bumpers we do want to be sporty but not too low to the ground where we can't off-road remember this is a sport off-roader so let's see what we have so okay so all that did was pretty much lower back down a bit and in GTA that actually does I don't think it does anything to like arrow in the game I might be wrong about that um, I might have to research that a bit more okay so this is all it does is like drop it down as well so, we're probably not going to be putting out any of the bumpers, we'll probably just upgrade the engine. Exhaust. Now, exhaust doesn't really matter because it really doesn't do anything. Except to look different. It exposes the same amount of exhaust as you would in any other, like, exhaust. It's not like in real life where, like, if you have, like, a different, um, different, like, I guess, exhaust system, you have, like, a bit more power. We'll just use the, the um, do exit exhaust because I just like quite like the look of that. The grill, um, I quite like the look of that better than the um, original grill, so I'm just gonna put that on. Not do anything with the horns, headlights, of course, Xeon lights. Um, is it actually called Xeon? Wait, hold up. Xeon, I don't know. I, I, I always call it Xeon lights. I might be wrong about, 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 about that. Um, messing up quite a bit. A bit uh, messing up quite a bit today. <laughs> Um, we'll do the yellow and black plate as per usual now for color I'm thinking for this car maybe a real dark color. So let's go over to metallic uh, Oh, it's a two-tone. That's interesting. Um, ooh, actually um, Lava and um re lava red actually doesn't look half bad, but I feel like we should go with a darker color But I don't think like black ooh, <laughs> Yes or actually, no, um, cream doesn't look half bad, um, but of course, we are going to be, like, off-roading, so we might not want that. Like, cause, like, you know, brown gets pretty dirty really quickly. Let's see, is there, like, a desert tan? Is that even a color? Desert tan? I might have passed it. Um, desert, 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 desert. Too bad this isn't in, like, alphabetical order. Or is it? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Um, desert tan, I swore... Or sandy brown. I mean, I guess sandy brown is the closest to like tan. Um, I might do sandy brown. What does it look like again? Um, sandy brown. Okay. Absolutely terrible. Okay, let's just look at the mat. So we have. Ah. Oh, four screens a new color? Well, I didn't. Is four screen a new color? I don't, I've never seen it. Oh, to be. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, so the other tent is a color, just... Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, let's go, maybe it's, I have an unlocked in classic? Desert tent? Or is that just only like... A, um, oh, it might actually just be, um... For, um, blah, 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 for like, um... Can't think right on matte. Um, color is like solid matte. Um, okay, fine. Um, we could go with a... Metallic, let's say... Um, black steel. We'll go with a metallic black steel. With a, let's see what we have here. I quite like the, not that blue, but like, uh, maybe a hint of straw block. Or I guess it's a white if we want it to be like brightish. Yeah, we'll just go with a nice white pearlescent. And for secondary, since we don't want to mess anything up, we'll go but, um, with the same color. Since anything else looks weird. Alright, <clears throat> um, for skirts, so that just slows the car even more. Um, the spoiler, um, I guess it does improve traction, we'll just add that on the top. Um, suspension, I would usually drop it down low, but since we're going off-roading, I would keep it at stock. Um, transmission, too bad you can't raise your car. 
That'll be a nice feature. Um, of course, turbo. Um, wheels, since we're going off-roading, we need off-road tires. Um, I don't know if this actually makes a difference, but I feel like it makes a difference when I drive around on off-road tires like on my armor crew. Feels a bit more agile. Well, not agile, but like a bit more grippy. Um, those actually don't, these don't look half bad on this car. Hmm, um, or that, that, that doesn't look half bad either. Okay, that just looks terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, five, I don't, I don't like the original wheels. I might go with this, or which one is this? Um, oh, I can look, okay. We'll go with these. Um, we'll probably do a blue color of black. Ooh, actually, maybe we'll go... No. Okay, this is, it's a gray. So black steel, we'll match it up. Black steel. Um, enhancements. Bulletproof tires. And, um, tire design, I'm not gonna put on custom tires because it really doesn't do anything. Uh, windows are just limo it because like in any other... Sorry about that, guys. So I just got out of the Los Santos Customs and, um... I was choking on myself and um, LGT thoughts, so I had to res um, start from here. But this looks like a V8. There's only like four coil. I want to injection coils. I want to say those are um, on the engine, so it's not even a V12. It says it's a V12 supercharged. I don't see a supercharger on it, so uh, it's a lie. It's just an honestly, it's just a lie. So we are going to now um, go and test the off-road abilities of this car. So, um, yeah, let's do that now. Alright then, guys, we have arrived, um, just at the crack of, well, not crack of dawn, I guess. It's, a uh, um, sunset. We just arrived, um, at sunset at the Vinewood side. We're at the bottom of the hill right now. Um, if you guys want to know where this place is, it's just, like, right there. There you go. Okay. And, um, we're just gonna, um, do some light, very light off-roading. I know this isn't, like, the best off-roading scenario, because, like, you know, you have, like, um... Things like um, Mount Chilia, which you could climb up the side of, but this isn't half bad. But I feel like if you do anything like climbing Mount Chiliad, it might not work because I like it's struggling power-wise just to get up the um, this hill. And I guess you could try this rock. Yeah, it doesn't have enough power. And uh, I guess since we're up here, we could also test um, how many wheel drive it is. So. Um, it's no wheel drive. I think it might just be front. Okay, let me let's uh, let's get something else to test. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a building right there. Let's use that. So um, here we go. Here we are. Let's go up to it and so it's only front wheel drive, guys. So you won't be able to like um like do any like heavy off roading, as I said. And it's not actually what it says on the um, badge. It is a V8, not a V12. So false advertising right there. So um, yeah. What I off, what I recommend this car for off-roading, light off-roading maybe, and like maybe like if you're like going on like I don't know a road trip with your friends in GTA, sure. But if you're doing this like trying to go up like Mount Chiliad, it might be able to make it, but it might also struggle along the way because of how little power and grip and wheels that could actually um, turn um, by itself well, I guess how many wheel drive it has so uh, yeah it's not that good for off-roading guys um, sport wise it's not that fast either so yeah and um, this is in the SUVs class of course the fastest SUV according to Bruffy 1322 is the Contender um, so if you want to just want a really quick off-road, not off-road, well yeah, I guess it's sort of off-road, an off-road car, go with the Contender, it's better than this, don't even go for this, but it, I guess this, like, just looks better, if you want, well, it looks better in my opinion, anyways, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you like it, dislike if you dislike, and subscribe if you want, my name is Sky, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video, bye!